One, two, three, four. Gloria Morano, uh, a member of the jury of our festival. Hello, Ms. Morano. Hello. Uh, so, in Luxembourg, you have your own fest film festival uh, that is going to happen in uh, March in 2021. Uh, yes. What, ha what happened with your festival in 2020? So, the festival was at the beginning, our 10th edition, the beginning of March. Uh, 2020 and it was just interrupted three days before the end so we were quite lucky we could do so eight days of the festival it just we couldn't do the the final weekend it was a bit strange for us not to yeah. finish the festival but for me for the school screenings and it was quite okay we could do almost everything okay uh, with which criteria you judge the movies? Okay, um, our festival is not only a festival for young audience. So I'm in charge of the young audience part, but there's also, also a part with um, fiction and documentary films and other sections of the festival for adults. Mm -hmm. My part, or the, the young audience part I'm in charge of, is for is organized with school screenings and with family screenings, especially on the weekend, and with workshops for schools and for children that are, come with the parents. Um, we program films for children from three years old until the end of the school. So for the teenagers too, for high school people too. And Luxembourg situation for the languages is very complicated and very interesting. So we have to balance the, the films with the languages and with the ages. So we have um, films, especially animation, short films without words for the little one, for three, four, five years old, because when they begin the school, uh, usually they don't speak, it, it can happen, they don't speak uh, French, German or Luxembourgish. They can come from other countries and speak in other languages. So films without words is the easier for everybody. And then children begin uh, German at six, seven, and then French at eight. So we, we can balance the films like this. But there are also uh, private uh, schools, European schools, international schools, and French schools, with a lot of children and a big interest in coming to screenings. So we really try to balance all the languages from the beginning until the teenagers um, section. And then we have a screening for the families on the weekend. So some films are the films we choose uh, also for the school program, and some others are, for example, Luxembourgish premieres. For example, it can be like this, because there are a lot of animation studios in Luxembourg. So a big production of animation films for children, for teenagers. So it's very interesting for us to collaborate with the production studios and to have premieres of these films during the festival. Nice, very nice. Uh, did you enjoy the films of our festival? Absolutely. Uh, I already had the chance to watch some of them, especially the animation film for the little ones, because in my research for the program, I already discovered some of them. But for example, I didn't know, I didn't watch before the, your festival, the most of the um, fiction films for teenagers, for uh, 13 years old, because I didn't have to look, search this kind of film. And it was really interesting for me to check what's happening in cinema for this, in this period. Very interesting. What do you miss more from the festivals? To be there, to meet people, 
to be with other professionals in other festivals and to watch the films with other children. Because when we choose the film, we're adults, it's not the same thing. Yeah. Of, of course, our way of watching films is a professional eye. And of course, we, we can enjoy films, but it's not the same. And so, it's always very surprising to watch film with other children because they laugh or they impress by things we are not. Uh, and we, we, they ask questions we didn't think about. So, and of course, there's the meeting with the filmmakers, so the people work, uh, working on films, and it's very exciting. So for the moment, it's very hard to, to work like this and also to organize a festival without knowing what it would be really possible. We, we organize things, but we don't know what we can really do in March. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and for last, I want a wish, to give a wish in our festival and for the cinema. My wish? Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I hope it can be soon possible to have festivals like before, uh, traveling for the professional, inviting people, that's very important for us, uh, inviting filmmakers, and for the film production to have the possibility to product, to create new films without thinking of this difficult time and really having the possibility to do things. And I hope the economical situation can be better for all the festivals. We, we're really lucky in Luxembourg, of course, but I know I, I'm Italian. I know in Italy, for example, it's very hard for the culture right now, not only for the cinema, but for the culture and in a, a lot of other countries. So I really hope <laughs> the pandemic will be far <laughs> very soon and that festival can be as before. Also, I think I'm afraid children and teenagers are now very too much used to watch things uh, virtually and i think they miss the the festival and the, the the theater's experience and i hope they can remember very soon why it is important for them and for everybody very nice thank you very much thank uh, you I hope that we can meet uh, next year in the festival. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. La, la, la. La, la, la. Δεν θα το κάνεις καν μοντάζ, το ξέρεις. Ναι.